We're back now with Serene Branson of KCBS TV, who attracted much attention last Sunday night when her speech became garbled during a live TV broadcast. Also joining us, medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton. We're going to take a closer look at this point at Serene's condition. As we mentioned, a lot of people had suspected that you suffered a stroke on the air. That wasn't the case. You were diagnosed as having had a severe migraine. And this can actually mimic a stroke, right, Jen? Correct. And, you know, there's a list that doctors go through whenever someone presents with symptoms like this. At the top of that list is always the most serious diagnosis is something that can kill you, so you want to exclude that first. In this case, it was a stroke. Next on the list would be something like a seizure, and then migraine with aura or a classic or complicated migraine, as the term used to be, is next on that list. So when I spoke to Serene's doctor yesterday, he told me she had the complete head-to-toe workup Everything was evaluated according to a stroke protocol to exclude a stroke. So imaging of the brain, ultrasound of the heart and the blood vessels in the neck and the brain, extensive blood tests, evaluated by a cardiologist as well as migraine specialist and neurosurgeon. No st stone was left unturned, and luckily, 95% sure it was not a stroke, more of the classic migraine. You said you'd never had a migraine, but your yeah. mother mentioned to you this sounded like something that had happened to her. Yeah, which was very interesting because, as the doctor pointed out, they can be hereditary Correct. migraines, um, which I didn't know, and I didn't even know that my mother had suffered from them until after this happened, and she said, you know, when I was in my earlier years, I had a few of them. And this can really affect women in their 30s. Absolutely, and the real key here is the, the timeline that Serene's symptoms progressed according to little by little, symptom by symptom. It's called the migraine march, whereas a TIA or a mini stroke or classic stroke really tends to come on like a light switch. Mm -hmm. That was a big clue. And then her family history. She's a young woman. She's healthy. She doesn't smoke. She's not on any hormones. Her, her risk factor for a stroke, while not zero, mm -hmm. is certainly not as high as you know, it was for a migraine. What about a risk factor now for future migraines? Well, we do know that women who have classic migraines or migraines with aura are at higher risk for strokes later on in life if they smoke, if they take birth control pills and hormones. So those are obviously two things that are in our control to avoid in the future. And hopefully, this will be the only one that Serene gets, uh, but yeah. Is there a treatment? To make sure, to, you know, to limit the... Well, your yeah. doctor puts you on a, a drug called a triptan, mm -hmm. uh, which you can take if you get those right. symptoms in the future. But then CoQ10, which is an over-the-counter vitamin supplement, can yeah. be helpful. B vitamins, uh, trying to avoid any triggers for migraines, mm -hmm. those are all really important. Yeah. Serena, as everybody watches this and then we're hearing what it really was, I, I can't help but wonder, when did you start to feel and even talk, uh, quote-unquote, normally again? Well, probably Wednesday was the first day, well, that I felt like myself again, mm -hmm. but Monday morning I woke up and I was finally starting to speak normally again. Um, I, I could speak Sunday night about half an hour after the episode, but I still felt groggy and I, I joked to a coworker Monday morning, I felt hungover the next morning. My head just felt not good still for a couple days afterwards. Are you nervous at all about going back to work? A little bit, I'll admit. Uh, it was good to see a lot of my coworkers yesterday, but uh, you clearly okay. have a lot of support in the office. Yeah. Great to have you here with us, Jen. Thanks for coming you in bet. and helping Thank as you. well. Thank you.